Speaking, speaking of bad ideas, Lacey Evans shared some things on social, probably not getting the reaction she expected. She shared a video on Instagram of a guy who's associated with Alex Jones, this couple, and the gist of the video is that autism in children is a recent phenomenon caused by kids eating too many processed foods. And then she doubled down on it by tweeting, she watched a video on, on the impact of processed foods, the impact that it is having on our children. And she shared it on the, she shared the video. Then she said, y'all are insane. She since deleted all of it. Now look, I think we can all agree that many processed foods and eating too many processed foods is not the healthiest thing. They can be stripped of fiber and nutrients and packed with salt, fat, sugar, calories. Having some in a balanced diet isn't a bad thing, but I think we can all agree you don't want to live on them. We also live in a badly, in a very busy world. You have to work, kids have school, holidays, there's a convenience factor. Eating a healthy diet is important. And in that sense, Lacey Evans is right, but she's gotten a lot of blowback from different people, especially those who have been diagnosed, like AEW wrestler Nick Camarado, who tweeted that he was diagnosed with ADHD at six, and it still affects him today. And he goes on to say that diet won't fix it, but it hasn't stopped him from achieving his dreams. Now, it's no surprise that the guy in the Lacey Evans video, he's got the secret that Big Pharma won't tell you about. He's got something to sell you. Some multi-level marketing gimmick. Because, of course he does. Alex Jones has made millions off his powders and testosterone replacements. And you ever notice that all these people who are supposedly on your side have always got something to sell you. Not to give you but to sell you. And Lacey Evans' guy is no different. And here's the thing. If a diet was the solution to autism, HDHD, or anything, Big Pharma would have already packaged it at a jacked up price and would be selling it to you. Carrots would cost $300. Now let's get back to Lacey Evans, who's been repackaged more times than the processed food she's tweeted about. You know, a lot of times we ask questions. Why isn't my favorite wrestler on TV? Why aren't they getting TV time? Where'd they go? Well, I think we found the answer to Lacey Evans' career. And I'm not picking on her because of her politics. The Young Bucks probably have conservative views. Dustin Reynolds has tweeted conservative views. I've worked for Republicans at the state Senate level. Reasonable people can disagree, but look, even if you like him, you got to know Alex Jones is controversial. You're either going to get a very positive or very negative reaction. In show business, you are the product. Whether you're an actor, singer, pro wrestler, your job is to get the public to buy you. And tweeting out controversial or offensive positions can mean people won't buy you. How many albums is Kanye selling right now? This is a big lapse of judgment by Lacey Evans. WWE is a billion dollar company. They invest TV time and money into developing characters to market on their television. 
They have to have faith in you backstage that you're not going to go rogue. Lacey Evans went rogue, and maybe that's why she hasn't been on and off TV. Maybe that's why she hasn't been consistent. Because they saw something in her where they don't trust her enough to invest that money and TV time to where it will all be a waste. Plus, they're sponsors. Carrot Lobby ain't sponsoring wrestling. Snickers has sponsored WrestleMania. Lots of candy and processed foods on WWE programming, including a corn dog commercial featuring, you guessed it, Lacey Evans. If I'm these corn dog people, how happy am I that my spot is being brought up because my spokesperson linked my product to autism? And what about that, Lacey? Did she have different values when she shot the commercial? Or is she a hypocrite who took the money even though it was against her belief? You know, many times we wonder why a star is being utilized what we see as their potential. I did it with Lacey Evans. When she had that match at the Royal Rumble, I thought she was going to win the title. I thought her military background meant that she was disciplined and could handle the pressures of WWE. So think about it. There's a lot of criticism about professional wrestling. You all right over there? What's going on with you? There's double the mic. Sorry. No, what do you need so much water for today? It's coffee. Put that away. Crying out loud, it's nighttime. You're not going to be able to sleep. <laughs> well, you have to have another drink right now. God help me. Now, where was I? People didn't like this so much, I hear. I can't even remember what I was angry about. I got, I got a question. Is anyone else thirsty? How did I not see I'm, that? I just, uh, you absolute... Oh God, I hate everybody on this show. It's not an issue of whether the listeners can hear it. I don't care about you. It's about me. Sociopath. God. Sheesh. Me? Yeah. Now my wife is texting me, Craig. I hope you're happy about that. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.